Here they come. What happened to you guys? We're dying. Why are you dying? Because I'm coughing. Hey, look at the giant martini glass. It's supposed to be St. Martin, but I think it's San Martini. Ah. Uh. After that long, long road, um, where there was only one turn in, I don't know, four miles, five miles, coming up on a not so great looking backside of a town is a glorious sight. There's an albergue over on the right, the albergue Santa Lucia. Anyway, I stayed there last year. I did. As I walk this last part that we just walked instead of in the morning in the late afternoon which I think might have been a mistake because it was torturously hot and sunny but doing it in the morning not quite as bad even though I'm not doing as big a miles as last year um, wisely um, scattering the the miles more evenly over the days but anyway and having some compassion for my sons sitting on the road. <laughs> Just keep walking, buddy. There's your giant martini glass. The long, long walk. We've already done six miles of this. And I think we only have a couple more. And there's like no wind. It's like when we were on our bikes, this would have been perfect. Perfect riding weather. Oh well. I'm still trying to figure out what I was supposed to learn from that. Adam said that, you know, until we got on the bikes, the Camino was pretty easy for him. And I have to admit, it's pretty easy for me, even though, you know, I mean, it, it needs some exertion. But the bikes provided um, maybe the resistance that I needed, the difficulty I needed. Because the Camino is supposed to be enjoyable, but it's also not supposed to be easy. Um, if it's easy, you don't reach into the depths of who you are. You don't need to ask for help from whatever you believe in. I believe in God. And so I think sometimes, all the time, we learn more from our difficulties than we learn from the easy road. Right now, this very easy road, I'm walking and not biking, which is what most people did across the Meseta. And so, I'm having my share of long, straight um, roads that bring out a little bit of introspection. Because, well, I can see the mountains off in the distance. There's little variety in what I see on the outside, so there's very little external input. So it all has to come from within. And that's a healthy place to be sometimes. Can you hear? Yeah. Funny how you meet people and get attached. Yeah. 
walking into hospital obrigado go something like that <laughs> Hospital of Brigga. I need to figure out. Orbigo. Hospital de Orbigo. Jonathan just said, oh, how cute this corn is. We're from Illinois. So we have lots of cornfields, and I think our corn is a little bit bigger and taller than, than this is now. This is the where we're walking. Soon it will be more interesting. Soon, 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 we will be going uphill. The Yaras de Obrigo. Ask Megan. She has an account. She does? Mm -hmm. I think Dad might too. And Daniel off on his own, listening to Harry Potter. Oh, the buff is the most handy article of clothing I've ever worn. Why? Because it's a hat, it's um, a scarf, it's a face mask, it's a sweat rag, among other things. You're welcome. I bought it. And then Daniel has mine. He's worn it every day since I gave it to him. So I think I've worn it once. <laughs> I need to get myself one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Notice that there's shells all over the wall. Mm -hmm. beep, 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 bouncing beep, stick. Beep, 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 beep. If I ever get a cow, I'm naming it hamburger. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Into a cow. Like a literal cow. Hey, no, no, don't Hey, buddy. A little statue thing. I think I had clothes on last year and the cross is knocked over, which is sad. And then there's, I think, three Asian girls sitting behind it. And then. There's Daniel walking down the trail, listening to Harry Potter. And there's Jonathan. Put your hand down there so we can see how big it is. Huh. Don't you get close to it? You don't know it's not doing anything, so it's just digging a hole. I don't know if it's poisonous or not, though. Yeah. yeah but it doesn't even know I'm here. 
It's not paying attention to him. Okay. Jonathan. No. It needs a hole. Again. Hey, Dwayne. This is Dwayne. It's Dwayne. It's Dwayne. It's Patrick's house. I'm shaking my head. I know. I prefer because I don't know if it's been washed or. Hey, worry about the little tadpoles. It's just a little mud puddle. I hope it rains. There's the cross on top of the hill. Astorga is in the background. There are these Asian girls that we've been kind of following and they follow us. About to walk past a factory. Cathedral is off in the distance. <sighs> it's an over 30 kilometer day. It's a long ways. It's warm. I'm tired. It's been a fun day though. It's very pleasant, slow and pleasant. I hope we can find a place to stay because we've dawdled. Glamour hiking. This is a bridge. It's crazy. Dan found himself a new backpack. At least that's how uh, oh gosh, heavy they open. feel by the end of the day. Don't open, Don't open it. Oh Florida spent 25 euro, which is pretty good. It's for snacks for two days and church in the background and dinner and breakfast and lunch. So three meals. The pilgrims a meal, which is for dinner, is 10 euro a person. So for 20, which would be 30 for all of us. So for 25, we got three meals instead of 30 for one. So we're doing okay. Thank you. Storg is a hopping place. That's right. Being lured in. 
paprika de chocolat. Anderson chocolat. I think under the glass there's Roman ruins. Jonathan says yes because he says that there's cement involved. There's cement in between the bricks. There's cement in between. Romans were the ones to invent cement before it was lost and reinvented by America. Anyway. Trust me. No ones. Ones. Ahead of us is the albergue. I think we're on the top floor by the bell. <laughs> and there's no elevator. <laughs> it's so pretty. All the roses and it is delicious it is the best smelling rose I've ever smelled in my life so it's forever immortalized yeah it smells just wonderful it's like cherries a little bit soapy and, but and rosy After a day's hiking, I smell like an old boiled hot dog that's been melted into a sweat dry. 